Hello, and welcome to the channel. We've seen moving platforms like this in a lot of games. In today's video, we will develop this type of moving platform in Unity, and the best thing is that it will be reusable. What this means is that we can reuse our code several times to make multiple platforms with different speeds and positions without rewriting the code. Let's get started. I made this simple scene here. Create a script, then open it in your code editor. First, we require a reference to our platform, as well as two more references for the start and end positions. Let's make three public transform variables to get the references. Now let's go back to Unity. Create a blank game object, let's call it platform controller, and then reset its position. Then drag our script onto it. As you can see, there are three blank fields. Let's create a child object of the type sprite and adjust its size and shape to your preference. Let's call it platform. After that make two additional empty child objects for the first and second positions. The next step is to choose our platform controller and then drag all of our items into its associated empty fields. Now go to inspector, click here, then choose any icon to see our start and end in scene view. Let's now place our start and end objects to the starting and stopping positions that our platform will move between. Next, let's add some code in our onDrawGizmos method to visualize our line between the start and end points. Now let's go back to Unity. As you can see, the debug line between the platform and start end locations is easily visible. If we create many platforms, this will be useful. After finishing our referencing section, let's move on to our script. This is the section where we should write our movement logic. To begin with, let's create a method that returns the current target location, which might be either the start point or the end point depending on the platform position. Here, I created an int variable as a direction to determine the start or finish point based on its sign. Depending on whether the direction is 1 or minus 1, the result will either return the start point as the goal location or the end point as the target position. The next step is to move our platform from one place to another using vector 3.lerp, which will just linearly interpolate the value between two vectors based on the third parameter. Now let's see how it works. Yup, it's now moving towards our start position. But hold on, why is it not going to end position? It's because our code moves platforms towards specific position, but there isn't a code that indicates when to reverse the direction. Here, the direction we receive is always toward the start point. Let's add some additional code to change the direction. In order to calculate the distance between the platform's present location and the target location, first let's create a float variable. If the distance is less than 0.1, multiply the direction by minus 1. For example, if the current direction value is 1, and if we multiply it with minus 1 then the result will be minus 1, and similarly if the current direction value is minus 1, and we multiply it with minus 1 then the resulting value will be positive 1. Now let's see how it works. Yup, now it's working fine. Let's drag our platform controller to project to create a prefab. Now we can reuse this moving platform multiple time in multiple places. That's it for this video. If you like the video then subscribe to our channel. And if you have any question then let me know in comment section. Thanks for watching.